Hello everyone. What is going on out there? It is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades, with the foul mouth, Commodore Urban. And today is May 7th, 2020. It was 105 years ago to this date that on the 7th of May of 1915 that the RMS Lusitania was sunk by a torpedo off the coast of Ireland. And one of the worst, um, probably one of the worst instances of World War I. And as a tribute to the ship, to the event, and to all the lives that were lost, I want to show you guys my small collection of books and stuff related to the amazing ill-fated ship. So let's go ahead and let's get this fucking show on the road. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you like the video, give it a big old fucking thumbs up for me. It helps. So we're going ahead and start with the first book I ever got about the Lusitania. RMS Lusitania, Triumph of the Edwardian Age by Eric Sauter and Ken Marshall. With uh, help from Bill Sauter. This book was published by Waterfront Publications. And, you know, copyright 1993 by Transatlantic Designs. And this is kind of a nice little book. It's not a super, super detailed book. And Eric Sauter and Ken Marshall say that too when they write, when they wrote this book. You know, they said this book is supposed to be kind of like a, um, uh, yeah, like an idealized scrapbook that for a change separates the ship from her fate. And this book has a lot of amazing fucking photos of the Lusitania as she was, you know, being built. This was one of the books that really came in handy when I was building my model, along with uh, The Unseen Lusitania, also by Eric Sauter. Like I said, Eric Sauter's books on the Lusitania are fucking amazing sources of material to this amazing Cunarder. But like I said, there's just a lot, just a lot of information within just a very few pages, you know, so definitely a must. The second one is Robert Ballard's Lusitania, probing the mysteries of the sinking that changed history. Yet again, this is another really good book on the Lusitania. This one's a little bit more in depth to the history of the ship and also the history of the final crossing. And it actually has some very beautiful paintings. Some amazing fucking paintings here by Ken Marshall. I just love Ken's paintings. I'd love to meet Ken Marshall one day and just, you know, shake his hand and just say thank you. Thank you for bringing these beautiful ships back to life. And that's what he did with these paintings. It really, it really feels like you're there, you know, when you look at one of his paintings. It really makes you, it's like a time machine. And there's a really interesting painting in this book. It's actually a very rarely seen painting as she's going down. This is really fucking amazing shit. I mean, you can just imagine the horror, you know, staying on the deck of the ship. It's literally as she's driving herself under the damn waves. Scary shit. And of course, she comes to the now section, seeing the wreck as it is, you know, as it was. It's probably worse than this now. Lusitania looks like a big pile of shit now. It's just such a sad end to what was once this. Such a sad end. Such a beautiful ship. But this book really does explain some things. In Dr. Ballard's conclusions, he thinks it was a coal dust explosion that ended the Lusitania's life, which 
here in a moment, I may do, I might give you guys my explanation of what I think fucking happened. And, um, this book here, The Lusitania, by Colin Simpson. This is an older book. This one was published, uh, I believe it was published in the 70s, 1972. So this is an older book. Um, this one kind of is, um, a little bit more in depth about not just the sinking of Lusitania, but also the, um, the events up to it and after it. And there's a lot of controversial stuff in this book about how the Lusitania was supposedly sunk and how it sank because of massive load of ammunition inside of her blew up and shit. She was carrying ammunition and stuff, but I didn't think, I don't think that's truly what caused her to sink. But this is still a very good read if you want to look for it. I definitely would recommend it too. And I also have this amazing drawing of the Lusitania done by my good friend Russ Willoughby back in 1987. Yes, my friend Russ is an amazing artist. Very, very amazing artist. It's a grand picture of a grand ship at sea. And finally, my 1350 scale model of the Lusitania by Mr. Hobby, which I've showed this thing off in great detail. And there's the box for it. I thought the box would be kind of nice. There's the base. It says RMS Lusitania right on it. Fucking amazing shit. Now, since I've showed you the collection, I want to explain what I think happened. My fucking thoughts on what happened to the Lusitania. Okay. About 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the 7th of May of 1915, the Lusitania was off the coast of Ireland, you know, making steady pace, you know, heading, you know, to the channel to go into Liverpool. You know, off from a distance, you know, kind of way off a distance, the U-20 was lurking. And Captain Walter Schwieger was very lucky, shot off one torpedo, shot at the Lusitania. And that torpedo hit roughly in this region here. And it went in, first explosion. And that wasn't even the death explosion. There was actually a second explosion that was worse than the first. That actually, a, roughly a ton, a bunch of steam and stuff shot out through the vents and stuff on the top deck and shot debris high, high up into the air. And as that happened, you know, the momentum of the ship, she was gradually going like this. She was literally gradually was going over on herself like that, driving herself down into the waves. And 18 minutes later, she basically, you know, she slammed her nose into the bottom of the Irish Sea, and then she was gone. What I believe happened to the Lusitania it was simple. In this area of the ship, there was a boiler room. There was a boiler room right here. And when I think when that torpedo hit into this area, broke into the, into the um, uh, boiler room through the coal bunker, I think what it did, that first explosion, actually weakened some of the um, steam piping, the high-pressure steam piping for the you know, the carrying the steam to, you know, the turbines. What I think happened when those pipes ruptured, that was your second explosion, was the high pressure steam pipes rupturing and that steam shot up through the upper layers to the air trunks and stuff of the ship, up through the vents, busting the vents off. Because right after the second explosion, the ship completely lost power. They lost power to the telemotor, you know, the the steering mechanism of the ship, which was ste steam powered. What other explanation would you have? A steam pipe exploded, and that's what caused her, caused the death. Was a steam, was a boiler, was a steam line rupture. And then 18 minutes later, this grand um, greyhound of the seas was at the bottom of the North Atlantic. So there you go, guys. That is my explanation for the sinking of the Lusitania and also my little collection and a short tribute to the ship. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you. And as always, if you love my videos, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and join the comments crew and never miss another fucking video ever again. And uh, one more thing, I just want to have a, a moment of silence for the men, women, and children that lost their lives on May 7th, 1915 when the Lusitania sunk off the Irish coast. Thank you very much. God bless you guys. And uh, may these uh, poor souls rest in peace. And so long. Thank you.